This lecture will describe the classic chest x-ray findings that are associated with a right middle lobe pneumonia. When presented with an x-ray of a patient with right middle lobe pneumonia, the first finding that you may notice is an area of consolidation. The presence of fluid density material within the right middle lobe results in a wedge-shaped opacity in the right lower zone adjacent to the heart. Another finding that is a little more difficult to appreciate is the presence of air bronchograms. Air-filled bronchi that are surrounded by alveolar infiltrates can appear as dark, radiolucent branching columns within the area of opacification. Consolidation of the right middle lobe results in effacement of the right heart border, obscuring the interface between the lung and the heart. This is referred to as the silhouette sign. Lastly, note that the superior border of the right hemidiaphragm is clearly defined. This helps to differentiate a right middle lobe pneumonia from a right lower lobe pneumonia, in which case the right hemidiaphragm would be obscured. So to quickly recap, on an x-ray depicting right middle lobe pneumonia, we would expect to see right lower zone opacification with air bronchograms and an indistinct right heart border, but with a clearly demarcated right hemidiaphragm. I'll also add that unless there is coinciding atelectasis, there is usually no loss of lung volume. As well, keep in mind that radiographic evidence of pneumonia can worsen during the first few days of treatment and take several weeks to completely resolve.